Welcome to Small Town Big Deal. I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. You know, Jan, I've been in a John boat, I've been in a sailboat, I've been in a tugboat, I've been in a fishing boat. A uh, pontoon boat? Oh, yeah. A ski boat? For sure. Well, I know you've been in a boat made out of a giant hollowed out pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, that was really wild. Yeah. But you know, I have never been in a cardboard boat. Cardboard? <laughs> well, today is your lucky day. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, the cutest. Yeah. Looking good in our international harvester. <gasps> Here we come, Jim. There we go, Finish. We got him, Rodney! Woo! But our competitive juices hit a crescendo when we play grand piano keys head to head. Game on, Rodney. What? Don't be putting up no, a victory. That was the, that couldn't be started. Let's do it again. Let's wait, do it again. wait, 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 wait. The machine is wrong. Congratulations, Jan. Congratulations, Jan. They're hungry to learn. You know, the way these dogs respond is so impressive. Mimic, I can't help but wonder. Can I train Rodney here? And yeah. Drop it? I'm going to drop Rodney off for a couple weeks and then pick him up. Yeah, exactly. No What's the treat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There are so many reasons why the word mystery was added to this mansion's name. Much of what you see inside seems to defy explanation. Open this door and you hit a wall. This may look like a closet, but it actually leads to another room, and we're just getting started. We are at one of the most popular spots inside the Winchester house. It's called the door to nowhere. Mm hmm And it's called that for a reason. That first step's a doozy. All right, ready, set, go. <laughs> That's a big golf ball. That is like a softball. Wow, that one's got an hourglass figure. All right, Jan's on three. How many, how many, <laughs> Look, she's in like action position. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> I think mine would taste good, but it wouldn't look very good. <laughs> all right, Christmas is coming, and she's got three. <laughs> this is where they add the crunchy outer shell. The process takes about two hours. So this is Jose Sanchez. Jose has been in the candy business for 32 years. Wow! And he's going to show you how we put a shell on that center. OK. Oh, one more. Jose is adding sugar, which sticks to the center to build the shell. And he makes sure we don't mess it up. Am I doing OK, Jose? Yes. Would you say perfect or just good? <laughs> just good. Or good, doing well. Oh, very well. About that much? No, it's OK. That's good? Yes. No, no, no! <laughs> Rodney, get better. OK, clearly, Jose was coached to say that. Now, it's been a while since I've had any baby food, but I'm going to do my best shot at guessing what this is. It's what I'm allergic to. It's bananas. I'm guessing vanilla custard, but I'm not convinced. <laughs> Woo! One for Jan! Pineapple. That's apple. Can I guess pineapple? <laughs> I was thinking applesauce, and I said pine. Oh, my goodness. Did he get pineapple? It's too, too. Uh. I'm going to say plum. Uh. Cranberry something, uh. I'm guessing. I don't know. So it's a meat. Peas, maybe? Uh. Uh, probably not, but it was not very tasty. Turkey. It's turkey? I got it! Yes, it's turkey! I got it. I'm not sure about this one. I know what this is. I want to say green beans. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's peas. Oh, All right. Hey, you got one. OK, but who Three won? Three and a half to one. All right, that one gets five eggs. How five many How many's already in there? Uh, one. Then we just go over and we flip all the way over, all the way down the line. OK, flip, Rodney. Let's go. Baby. No, no, that already got flipped. Oh, sorry. Here. <laughs> and this is called a mess? This is a garbage plate. I mean, what you did might, might be a little closer, but we're getting there. Table 14, chop, chop. 
We're here to celebrate a very unique culture that only exists along the sea islands of the southeastern coast. It's called Gullah, and it has survived here for centuries. This is the annual Gullah Festival, held along Beaufort's scenic inland waterway. We don't normally dress up for our small town visits. No, but you know, when in Rome, well, or Greenville, Illinois. This is where the largest manufacturer of band uniforms in America has been hitting all the right notes for more than 130 years. Nice plume. Thank you very much. Demolin also employs state-of-the-art technology. This dye sublimation machine heats up ink to 560 degrees so it can be transferred to fabric. Basically anything that you can create on a computer, you can put on a garment these days. This cutting edge machine uses an optical laser to cut out patterns. This will be a very fancy hat. Yeah, I mean, take fancy. a look, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. Right? And this steam tunnel fills the garments with hot air to remove wrinkles. If we go there, will it get the wrinkles out of us? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it may not have the pageantry of the Kentucky Derby, but the Packboro race at Leadville Boom Days is an amazing sight to see, with challenges all its own. We've seen people whose burrow won't even cross the start line because there's a change in the pavement color. One year, a burrow, instead of running down the street, ran into a bar and wouldn't leave. That actually happened. <laughs> it's just a, a huge adventure to do a trail race with a donkey that really isn't into the race itself. You know, you're kind of trying to, to work with the animal and do the race. And it's just beautiful out here. There's so much to take in at the New Hampshire Highland Games and Festival. The three-day event celebrates all things Scottish, from the music to the food, the arts, and the sports. But the first thing you notice is the fashion. I'm only here for the men in kilts. Here, everyone wears them. Even the women wear them. The same goes for the littlest kids and police officers, too. It's kilts to the hill in all patterns of tartan. Get ready for another installment of our series all along Route 66, America's Mother Road. Yeah, all the way from Chicago to the Santa Monica Pier. Now, you've got one guess where we are. <laughs> hey, they don't even get a guess. We're in Arizona at the Grand Canyon. They knew that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gee, money. Rodney's reaction seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time, like a lot of people's, just wow. The famous Mother Road goes right through the town of Winslow. And of course, we know just what to do once we're here. Standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona, and such a fine sight to see. You know, that pretty much sums up Route 66. Hey! Go, 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 go! Everyone is on active duty at Swim with a Mission. Get up there, get up there, get up there! It is a high-energy, three-day fundraising event that pushes your body and lifts your spirit. Let's go! Each day features a different competition. There's Navy Sealed Paintball, a Green Beret Obstacle Course, and Endurance Swimming. Here we go, Jack! Bring the ball! The objective is clear. Bill and Julie Taub created Swim with a Mission five years ago to raise money to help veterans in need. There's a lot of struggle. There's a lot of sacrifice. There's a lot of veterans not finding services that they need. It's a fantastic way to bring veterans together, people from the community, business leaders, the camaraderie here, the spirit, support for veterans is fantastic. We go places and people will come up to us and they go, you, you're those guys from Swim With A Mission, right? And, and, and they'll say, hey, you saved my life. And, I'll, and then I get emotional, you know, and I walk away and I go, wow, how do we do that? Like, we're that little pebble that went into the pond and it kind of like reverberated. Yeah, can I give you a hug? Yes, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. <laughs> Small Town Big Deals Salute the Veterans is made possible by Bad Boy Moors. Coming up on Christmas Across America, a Small Town Big Deals celebration. 
Nothing is silent about this night. Good tidings for Christmas and a happy new year. But the biggest joy is watching kids of all ages pull a sled through town that carries the ceremonial Yule log. But does anybody really know what a Yule log is? I've never done this before, so I don't know. A Yule with a log. It's a holiday tradition. It's basically where um, people come around and sing. I think a Yule log is where a lot of people or a community perform to share, a, uh, to share happiness. You uh, light up the Yule log and uh, in a giant fireplace. Well, that's all I have to say. Have you ever made an ornament before? Never. He had never decorated a Christmas cookie one year when we were, I was like, what? So now I'm ready to ice it? Yeah, now yeah. you're gonna ice it with the white glitter. Jen, she's still doing the green? Yes. Teresa would go out of business if I were decorating for her. No, I got a little like gunk around my flames there. I don't, oh, oh, that worked. <laughs> Those are my initials, and then small town big deal. Do we want to judge them, or do we want to just not judge them? I'm choosing yours. I'm choosing Aww. yours. Aww. So it's a tie. Everybody together. Aww. Let me see yours. It's <laughs> John holds the Guinness World Record for the world's biggest entirely edible gingerbread village with 1,251 buildings. Each of his gingerbread creations is decorated with sweet treats, which can be dangerous if your co-host has a sweet tooth. Skittles. Sweet tarts. M&Ms. This is making me hungry. Ooh, gumballs. Oh, ribbon candy. My grandma always had ribbon candy. It's a miracle you still have your teeth. <laughs> well, we're all idiots, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny, when I ask God to, to like show me something, this is the way I ask. I'll say, God, now, you know I'm an idiot. So you're going to have to make this so <laughs> abundantly clear that even I can't miss this. As human beings, we all want to be worth something. Yeah. On the cross, Jesus said, you're not worth something, you're worth everything. If you were the only person alive, I would do this just for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, secretly, that's what we all want. My dad left early. And when you grow up with somebody leaving you, you feel like you weren't worth staying for. There was a time in my life I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna make God my dad. Because he's always here. He knows everything about me and he still loves me. I can't act in a way that's too good to make him love me more and I can't act in a way that's too bad to make him love me less. He just loves me. And that's what Christmas is. It's, it's the greatest love story ever told. Yeah.